Hello everyone. Today I'm here to tell you about a PPT keycap set from Banggood. They are called Dark Nightmare and they are Che Profile. These were sent to me for a review and while they did sell them for free, I was not paid to say anything. So this review is my whole and honest opinion. From first impressions, these were very nice. I enjoyed the packaging they came in and everything came safe and undamaged. They came minimally with just keycaps and a free keycap puller. It's on the flimsier side, so if you already have one, this won't replace anything. But if you don't, this will work just fine. I'm really glad they came neatly packed. Usually when I get keycaps, they're just all over the place. It's a nice small change for once. And I forgot to mention, they're roughly $50 right now. So they definitely lean towards the budget side of the hobby. Which is great, because as you can see, you get a nice texture and printing for the price. The printing is nice and crisp, and I don't see anything bleeding from the letters. I also enjoy the fact that they feel quite thick. This is a preference for my sound profile on keycaps. You'll see though, that the budget plays into how they are made. They are not double shot, and won't be as high quality as something as say, GMK or JTK. Obviously. Anyway, moving on with the review, we're going to be using another Banggood product, the Gammon K K66. It's a weird layout that has some uncommon caps that these keycaps even accommodate for. I modded it by lubing the Gatteron reds, Band-Aid modded and lubed the stabs, PE foam, and lastly, modded it with two layers of tape. I did mods that I felt would help the clacky sound profile of the keyboard. And wow, look at that. For $50, I can't complain at all. I really like how the keyboard turned out and looks overall. For comparison, we are going to be looking at the JTK Night Sakuras so we can see a similar type of keycap that's made with higher quality production. From first inspection, the biggest difference to my eye so far is texture and font size. That to me is the preference though. The JTK has a more rugged surface and bigger font, but I actually prefer the small font on the cheaper Nightmare set. However, I do prefer the rugged surface on the JTKs. The biggest difference comes from the back of the keycap. On the JTKs, it's double shot. On these ones, they're not. You could also tell that the color of the keycap bleeds over on the back. Now the biggest thing of them all, what does it sound like? Well, did you hear a difference? I'll let you guys decide that. Here's a side by side to see how they look together. Overall, I just want to say that for the price, these are a great alternative to GMK wait times or group bias for that matter in general. They came to my door within 10 days and I can't complain for that time. They are great for the price and I can definitely see myself using them for personal builds. I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment down below. Until next time.